Peace and love, YouTube family. How is everyone doing? It's your girl, Lady LaPoete Speaks, coming through with another video. Today, we got to kick into some more things that's a needed review, and it's going to be how to argue effectively, because clearly, a lot of people didn't watch my how to behave on social media video, which tells me that you guys are still out here arguing, so let's get it. What is an argument exactly? It's an exchange of diverging or opposite views. Okay, clear enough. We can't understand that, right? what an argument actually is. Or we can say what is to argue, to give reasons or cite evidence in support of an idea, action, or theory, typically with the aim of persuading others to share one's view. Even though typically, I don't actually agree with that end part. I don't think the point of an argument is to get someone to see from your point of view, because if so, there's no point in arguing. Why do people always assume that volume will succeed when logic won't? I just had to throw this in here because it's such a good question. Like people think if they yell that somehow that's going to, I don't know, like bring more clarity, but it's not. So let's get it, fam. Is arguing always bad? What are the benefits to having an argument? I know some of you are thinking there are no benefits to having an argument, and that's why I'm here to help you expand your mind, okay? So one of the first things that came to mind when I was, uh, God damn it, when I was putting together this video was like, Present an opportunity to clear one's point of view, clarify your point of view, because one thing is that when you don't discuss certain things, you don't get an opportunity to express your point of view, and so that person just only has their point of view to go off of, which typically is not accurate. Also, it allows each person to express their triggers, a subject that may not have been visited if the conflict was, wasn't avoided. So we all have triggers to certain things. There's certain terms, there's certain behaviors, certain mannerisms, etc that trigger us. And sometimes within arguments, we can actually learn the triggers of one another, which also helps to grow our relationship. So another benefit, it gives your relationship the opportunity to evolve to new levels. The reason why I say this is because when you argue, you learn something new each time about that person. And so with new information comes new levels if you take that information and apply it. So it can give you the ability to evolve. It shows the vulnerability of each party involved, which can lead to empathy and understanding. Vulnerability is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing to be vulnerable and a good thing to sometimes put your feelings out there so the other person knows that, hey, you are actually a human being. And so let me treat you with a little bit of empathy and understanding. Opens up to different perspectives, which can lead to one being more objective and less defensive. Now, this is just my personal opinion. Um... But I do believe that when you have an argument, you can see various perspectives, you know, and when you see different perspectives, it kind of allows you to understand that not everyone thinks like you, which I've had to learn that a lot of people don't understand that everyone doesn't think like you. So it does open you up to some various things, in my opinion, family. Now, let's keep moving on. I had to throw this in here. Avoiding conflict is not healthy. I know some people, some very close to me, and they think that by avoiding conflict, Somehow it makes them the better person or blah, blah, blah. But I'm here to tell you it's not. It's negative, actually. And the negative results from keeping your emotions and things within you is this. When you reach adulthood, you built the habit of difficulty to share your feelings because you've never had the chance when you were young, right? Which means that you've never had the chance to share from your heart. I mean, come on, that's a problem. Whenever you share from your heart family as an adult, emotions will develop that might influence you to stop sharing because you do not want other people to see you as a weak person. So as a result, other people will never get the chance to understand who you truly are. That is the, the, the essence of expressing yourselves is so people can know how to handle you. If you don't ever express yourself or try to avoid conflict or arguments or whatever, then people don't, they, they assume that they can handle you any kind of way. I didn't even get to my last bullet, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys read it. Conflict is part of life. So learn how to deal with it. Here are Alima's, Alima's 10 tips for effective arguing. I can't talk today. What the fudge Nichols is going on? Create a strategy, create a plan, family. You have to have a plan. You can't just argue all willy nilly with no type of plan in mind because it's gonna go left, all right? The next thing you need to do is decide, is this even worth discussing or arguing about or should I even be bringing this up? A lot of times we bring up certain things that yeah they might be bothering us but on the surface level they're actually very menial and we shouldn't even be mentioning it address issues as they arrive especially you ladies this is especially for you if you have a problem right then and there then say it right then and there of course quite naturally if you're too emotional just wait until maybe later that day but bring it up don't bring some shit up to somebody like six months later and expect them to remember 
The next thing, stay on topic. If we're arguing about the groceries, then we're arguing about the groceries. Don't tell me about that time that I smacked you in 99. Come on, fam. Take notes and ask questions for clarity. I think that this is one of the most important things. You have to take notes during an argument so that you can make sure that when you bring back up certain things that you disagreed with when it's your turn to speak, that you're accurate and that you're not just... uh summing up what that person says because people don't really like when you sum up their words they want you to be specific okay and ask questions for clarity if you don't understand what someone said and it didn't convey well to you then just simply ask them when you said x y and z what did that mean simple shit do not do not talk while the other person is talking keep your mouth shut establish your point of view without attempting to find flaws in theirs okay simple shit do not name call grow up let's be adults be willing to compromise and most of all control your emotions okay do not do not do not bring up an argument while you're upset i think my screen got cut off oh my goodness do not bring up an argument while you are upset, family. Like, that's one of the worst things to do. You do want to address things as they arise. However, if you're super duper pissed, do not bring it up at that time because it's definitely going to go left. The person that you are uh, confronting, they maybe would have took it the right, the right way had you had the right attitude. But being that you're angry and you're upset, it's not going to, it's not going to go the way that you planned. Okay, these tips can be used within debating as well for those who debate, which a debate is very similar to an argument, but it's not the same thing because we know that debates are typically used in an educational slash scholarly manner, okay? But I want you guys to take these tips and adhere because I see you guys, like I said, no one listened to my last video, so if you're going to argue anyway, then argue effectively, right? I mean, we don't want to just be arguing just for the sake of arguing. We want to actually argue because it actually makes sense to argue. All right, so I hope that everyone is good on that one. And the bottom line is, as I stated earlier, it's like, I'm right, okay, I'm right too. But the point of an effective argument is to reach a mutual understanding family. If your main goal is to only prove that you're right and the other person is wrong, what's the point of even talking? Why are we discussing this? Here are some quotes that I enjoyed. Arguments are healthy, they clear the air, facts. Also remember this, you don't need to intend every argument you're invited to. Some arguments just leave that shit be, leave that person be. The aim of an argument or a discussion should not be victory, like, ah, oh, I won, it should be progress. So basically this is just a quick little video of how to argue effectively. Next video we're gonna be doing is what is the importance of life insurance and make sure everyone tunes into that. Please share, like, and comment on this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Peace and love.